Hello again, everyone. My name is James Shotwell, and this is Music Biz. Are you doing well? I hope so. Today's episode is a Fast Five interview with none other than my good friend, Scott Harold from the High School for Recording Arts, which is a charter school in Minneapolis that helps prepare students for a career in the music business, or really, any aspect of entertainment. Now, among the many very cool things that Scott Harold and his students do is that there is a paid vocational discovery program that allows students the opportunity to become publicists. They're promoting music right now using Holix.com, the company behind this channel, helping artists from all sizes, local and national, get press. And not just any press. We're not talking blogs here. We're talking the Washington Post. We're talking NPR. One of their recent singles had over 60 60 placements at BDS Radio. That is absolutely impressive for any artist, let alone an artist promoted by students. I absolutely love everything the HSRA is doing, so I reached out to Scott to come on the show and tell us about the program, how it came to be, and how anyone that's interested can get involved. And you're going to learn all about that right now. Okay, we're going to put five minutes on the clock right now. Scott, tell me, what is the HSRA all about? High School for Recording Arts is a charter school in Minnesota. It was one of the first charter schools ever started in the United States 25 years ago. It was founded by David T.C. Ellis, who you may know from the Graffiti Bridge movie. He's the rapper that's in that movie. He was a childhood friend of Prince. And when T.C. split, uh, when Prince split with Warner, T.C. was able to cash out with about a quarter of a million dollars at that time. He decided to try to start a recording studio, but noticed that young dropouts were coming into his studio wanting to learn how to make beats. And David partnered uh, with the state of Minnesota to start an alternative ch uh, charter school that uses hip hop music to engage youth on their own terms and help them to achieve a high school diploma. Uh, we also in that program, we do vocational training um, because many of our young people um, want to move on into careers in the music industry as producers, beat makers, publicists, you name it. Mm. And you have a specific program, the Vocational Discovery Program, that yeah. actually utilizes our service, Holix. Can you tell me about yes. that? Sure, absolutely. In the um, HSRA Vocational Discovery Program, High School for Recording Arts Vocational Discovery Program, um, we actually employ young people to produce uh, media releases and, and manage media content. Um, and that, that's a partnership between my record label, Rock the Cause Records, and High School for Recording Arts. And in that program, we use Holix to, to mentor young people on how to write a press release, how to build an electronic press kit, how to research media contacts, how to build relationships with the media. And it's been really successful because our students have been able to um, secure BDS radio airplay for some of the artists that we work with, not only students, but also national artists and they've been able to secure news stories with outlets like um downbeat magazine and the washington post and the la times it's super cool the 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 effect that they have and the work that they get done now one of the current releases you're working sounds of blackness this is a group that you've worked with previously how did you get started with them you know, the Grammy Award winning Sounds of Blackness, I got started with the, the Sounds of Blackness um, several years ago when um, uh, Rock the Cause Records was, was you know, um, handling the, uh, the Zach Sobiak Clouds uh, project. And, and they did a, we did a, at the Mall of America um, a version of Clouds that involved the Sounds of Blackness. Um, Sounds of Blackness has been, um, you know, for a long time now also rehearsing at the High School for Recording Arts and uh, collaborating with the High School for Recording Arts on a number of music projects. Some of them, uh, one in particular, a song called Royalty, uh, spent 32 weeks in the BDS gospel charts. And um, two of the tracks that we've partnered with on with uh, Sounds of Blackness have gone on to be nominated for NAACP Image Awards. Mm -hmm. So with the Sounds of Blackness, Gary Hines, who is the creative visionary uh, with Sounds of Blackness will often come to us and say, hey, um, I want to be able to work with uh, Rock the Cause Records. I want to work with High School for Recording Arts. And I want your young people to help work our new single to the national media. And um, we'll, we'll dive into that with Gary. So right now we've got a brand new single called Juneteenth Celebration um, that comes out today. And using uh, the Holix system, uh, High School for Recording Arts students are currently hand working that new single to the radio and media all across the world. 
I know a lot of people are going to watch this and that use Holix are trying to get out there and get airplay on the radio. As you just said, your students, high school students have been securing BDS radio placement, which is a huge accomplishment. Can you tell yeah. me the secret? It's patience. Patience is everything in this business. You know, some people get so defeated because, you know, they'll not only will you send, um, you know, a Holix release out and obviously Holix, you get all the data on who's opening and downloading, et cetera, but it takes the personal follow up. You got to do the personal pitches, too. And so our students will actually do individualized personal pitches to each radio station and member of the media. And it takes time. And, and our students uh, sometimes have to reach out seven, eight, nine, ten times just to get, you know, a response. And, you know, in, a, in an era of 24 hour media and in an era where there's a lot of major label traffic, you know, that obviously gets pushed to the top. It's incredible when our young people are able to come in with their story and say, hey, this is Claire. I'm, I'm with high school for recording arts and this is my job and this is what I'm being mentored to do. And when we find that person in the media who really gets what the project is about and the program is about we're able to build that relationship with them and we're able to get the media placement so it's constantly working our contacts and building those relationships and just having patience with it well you've just nailed five minutes but i want to give you one last yeah. second here to pitch something for anybody that wants to learn more about your program hrsa anything along those lines where do they go how do they get involved Sure, they can go to hsra.org or they can text me at 651-387-3121 or they can email scott, S-C-O-T-T-H-E-R-O-L-D at IROC, the cause, excuse me, <laughs> I've got so many emails going on, rockstar at IROC, the cause.org, rockstar at IROC, the cause.org or Scott Harold S-C-O-T-T-H-E-R-O-L-D at hsra.org. Perfect. Scott Harold, thank you so much for participating. You made it to yeah. the end. Thank you again. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much. And thank you for being a partner. Wasn't that great? I want to thank Scott Harold so much for coming on the show today. And again, if you want to learn more about his efforts, visit hsra.org. The address is right here at the bottom of the screen. And you can also visit our blog, holixdaily.com, to learn more about the latest activities from the HSRA and Scott's program using Holix. Thank you again for watching. My name is James Shotwell. This is the Music Biz Channel. And next week, I will be out as I'm going to Nashville to present a panel, but we will be back again very soon with even more content. So please stick around. Tell your friends. You can watch here on YouTube. You can watch on Spotify. You can listen anywhere you get podcasts. And please stick around. We'd love to have you. Until next time, my name is James Shotwell. Take care of yourself because you deserve it.